Hi, welcome to my home. A lot of my clients ask me, what does your place look like? So I think the first thing to start designing a living room is a couch. I picked this up on the side of the street. This piece I actually, someone gave to me. Things in a series of three, or maybe above the couch, you do a series of four. So I feel like if there's somewhere you wanna go, there's something that you want in your life, always have it around, look at it every day. I wanna to go to Paris, and um, this was where my TV was. And don't worry about letting go of things so much. They're really not that important. It'll come back into your life, and even better too. And then again, I always like having fresh flowers, adding that pop of color. Things that make you happy, things that make you smile, things that bring you joy. Those are the things that you keep in your space and nothing else. I feel like the kitchen is the heart of the home. It's magnetic. You can get this whole set uh, together or you can actually just buy these individually. I usually prep my salad here. I have all of these here in cute little containers. So anything that you do like that, I was just have the things you need, where you need them, when you use them. I actually love these little canisters. I have my espresso, hot chocolate, coffee, and I added these chalkboard labels. I kind of put chalkboard labels on everything. These are from the container store, and they are made of bamboo. Talking about manifesting things into your life, I actually needed a washer and dryer. So I was at a party the next night, talking to someone, and this couple had a washer and dryer that they didn't want in their storage unit anymore, and they gave it to me for free. I do love this bookshelf here. I get that all the time for my clients that have kids. It's not really good to have your back towards the door. So this is where, this is a good spot for the desk. I can see who's coming in. I can still look out the window. I can close it, I can change it out. I think it's great to have a white board in your in your space. If you have access to have um, this much space or wall space, it's really great to brainstorm, put things on. I can take a picture of this, keep it on my phone, erase it, and then move on to the next thing. They're the same size night stands because then that kind of signifies that you have a balanced relationship. Also, you shouldn't really have too much on your nightstands. You know, as some people I see like a lot of books, a lot of clutter. You have your phone, you have your your laptop, you're doing some work before bed. The bedroom really should just be for sleep and sex. So what's really important too is not to have anything under your bed because having a nice just open space under your bed just really allows like a lot of energy to flow, positive energy, which is great. Thank you so much for coming by and I guess I'll see you at my next place when I move. But anyway, let me get the door for you. Have a good one. Bye-bye.